believe this or not, and I'd never heard of this, <laughs> a couple of days ago in research for another project that, that we're working on, we found an actual interview between Mike Wallace and Margaret Sanger in 19, from 1957. Oh, wow. It's really, I've never heard the woman speak. I've never seen what she, you know, and it, it's really, um, I mean, she's a nasty, just a despicable individual. And you can you see, the video? yeah. Oh, wow. And we're posting it on our website um, so that people can go there and they just click there and they can see this interview with Margaret Sanger with uh, um, Mike, Wallace. Mike Wallace when he was Wallace? real young. Yeah. I've actually been on to see, see that website that you just talking about where you did it at. And uh, what is also interesting is how Mike Wallace starts off. With the cigarette smoking. Yeah, there's a cigarette commercial. Sponsored by. He spends about five minutes talking about how great uh, Philip Morris cigarettes are or whatever. And then she at the end comes on there and jumps in and says, hey, I think I'm going to start smoking and I'm going to smoke <laughs> Philip Morris cigarettes. <laughs> She's 70-something years old. She's going to pick up smoking. But this interview is really interesting. And you can see her anti-Christian and more specifically anti-Catholic um, sentiments come through loud and clear on this. And there's another thing that I don't know if you picked up on this, Johnny. This, we're talking about an interview that occurred in 1957, right? She talks on there about one of her cohorts, Havelock Ellis, who had put out some things talking about sexual relationships at that time. And she said, well, he was talking about homosexuals and how this is something people are born with, and it's not something that they choose. It's not a lifestyle they choose. It's something you're born with. This is 1957. We think this is something that just came out in the last few years. Right. Yeah. This woman was talking about it in 57. So if people go to ProLifeAmerica.com, we've got a little banner there uh, where it says available now. They can click there and watch that uh, interview with Margaret Sanger. And it's, it's pretty neat just to be able to actually hear the woman's voice and to see her and see how nasty she was. Um, but, but she tries to come across as so compassionate, though. If you, oh, yeah, she tries it's, it's, it, but she doesn't do a very yeah. good job. Well, she's kind of cold. It, 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 right. The warmth is not there. And some people may not know, people might be going, who's Margaret Sanger? She, she founded did, Planned Parenthood, Planned Parenthood. And, and before that, the American Birth Control League. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the research for this new project that we're working on, we, we stumbled across. I'd never seen that interview. I, I, I'd never even heard that it was, that it was out she there. she died way before TV. <laughs> no, she, she died in 66. Okay. But, um, and, of course, this stuff is in the archives at the University of Texas because Mike Wallace was a, a student of university, at the University of Texas. And um, so that's where it's archived at, and we, we downloaded it. And, and so you just click on our available now, Margaret Sanger, and you can see that.